Hello friends, this is your Prophet, Prophet Great. Please, if today is your very first time of watching our channel, we urge you that you subscribe, you like, and you share. And God bless you in Jesus' name. I will looking at the subject, back to sender. <laughs> Praise God. Now listen to me. Satan has no good agenda for your life. The Bible said, when the enemy shall come like a flood, so he's coming with disaster in mind. He's coming against you with brutality to frustrate you, to kill you. And that's why the Bible speaks in the book of Psalm 7 verse number 9. He said, oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. But establish thou the just. Now, how does God bring the wickedness of the wicked to an end? By returning that which he has programmed against a child of God back to the sender. Now we saw in verse number 15 of the same psalm, Psalm 7 verse number 15, the Bible says he dug a grave, he dug a pit, but he's falling into the same ditch which he has made. I don't know that pit the devil has dug against you. Whether it's a pit of failure, whether it's a grave, whether it is disaster that he has dug against you, listen to me, I prophesy back to sender in the name of Jesus. You will not enter that grave. You will not enter to that pit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Verse number 16, the Bible says he's mischief shall return on his own head, shall back to sender. It is a mischief. What is mischief? Terrible wickedness. You didn't do them anything. They just hate you for no reason. Visiting native doctors against you. Visiting hardalies against your marriage, against your business, against your company, against your career, against your dreams, in order to waste you. Well, listen to me, the Bible says, his mischief shall return on his own head. I pray for you, whatever they have programmed against you, back to sender in the name of Jesus. In the book of Isaiah 54, verse number 17, the Bible says, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, that weapon will not prosper. That charm programmed against you expire. That altar that they have reported your matter to catch fire in the name of Jesus. That your uncle, that your auntie, that your stepmother, that your stepsister that has vowed that as long as they live, you will never succeed. You will never make it back to sender in the name of Jesus Christ. Now the Bible is all about Daniel. The Bible says the people conspired against him innocently. He didn't do anything. They just conspired against him and threw him inside the lion's den to be eaten and to be wasted. But the Bible says the Lord intervened and returned the evil back against the people that plotted against him. Daniel was brought out and the people and their families were thrown inside the lion's den and they were eaten up. Shall back to sender. We also saw in the case of Shadrach, Mesach, and Abednego that they were thrown into the fire, the furnace of fire. The Bible said the people that threw them into the fire were destroyed. Back to sender. But these three Hebrew guys, nothing happens to them. I pray for you. Everyone that wants to humiliate you, frustrate your life, the Lord disgrace them in the name of Jesus. The Bible is speaking about a man called Mordecai. Haman was busy plotting evil, how to frustrate the destiny of this young man by name Mordecai. And the Bible says the man went far to prepare a gallop against him. What happened? It was back to sender that spoke for Mordecai. The Bible said the same gallop that Haman prepared was the same gallop he was hanged on. I prayed for you in the name of Jesus. 
any evil programmed against you, whether from your village, whether from your wife's side, whether from your mother's side, whether from your father's side, whether in Abuja or anywhere in the world, I command it back to sender in the name of Jesus. The Lord protects you. The Lord watch over you in Jesus' name. Shalom. <laughs>